And this is about our tear stain journey. Hey guys, I wanted to make a video because people ask me on my vlog. A lot of people ask me how I keep Bentley's face. I keep this little Papalini's face so, so clean and tear free and he's actually kind of dirty right now. <laughs> Need a bath. But this is his face and I'll put some pictures of what he looked like when I got him. Say hi, Bulbas. Oh, and if you're new, welcome. This is Bentley, and his paw is like literally my boob. This is my puppy, Bentley. He is six months old. He is a Maltese puppy. Why oh, do you give me the courses on my babies? I put him down, and I'm going to get into the video. Tear stains. There's lots of causes of tear stains. It can just be from them having clogged tear ducts, tear ducts that don't work properly, yeast. Bacteria, there's a ton of things. These are the things that I found that worked for me. One thing I will not do, there's a product. Can I say that while I get in trouble? Well, it's facts. Called Angel Eyes and the active ingredient, and I have to look at my notes because I fail. Sorry, I have to look at my notes. I don't want to say it wrong. The main ingredient is Tylosin Tarate, which is an antibiotic. I I don't want to give my dog antibiotics or medication unless he is sick and he needs it for a medical reason. I just feel like for... <laughs> Nobody's here, honey. I don't want to give him medicine if I don't have to. So I did a ton of research before I got him and some trial and error. When I brought him home, he was on a food called Diamond Puppy, which I didn't really care for too much. It's not... A bad food it's not one of the it's not a higher brand food it does have some dyes and some fillers and I don't want to give it to him so I transitioned him slowly over a while like, like two weeks and I transitioned him actually to Buffalo Buffalo blue puppy it didn't really work out for us and then I tried the Buffalo wilderness puppy and that was just not the food from him I'm not knocking Buffalo it's a great brand of food when I had Another dog, a couple years ago, I she was on blue and it worked for her. It just, at least, little tummy don't like the buffalo blue. I feed him Wellness Puppy. It is a all-natural food. It has no dyes, fillers, byproducts. It has real meat in it. And that was one of the first things I did. I also did, I did a lot of research and a lot of people said not to use plastic bowls. Make sure that any bowls for drinking water were either stainless steel, ceramic, or glass. I had a ceramic bowl and it broke. I knew that was a bad idea. <laughs> so I only give him water out of a stainless steel bowl. There's lots of theories on bacteria and plastics and it leading to tear stains. I figured, hey, stainless steel. Not a big deal. I give him distilled water. And I just wrote the date on it because I was just curious how long it takes him to go through a gallon of this. So I wrote the date that I opened it because I'm curious because I always forget. It's He's so small, it's not a big deal. I think it lasts like two or three weeks because he only drinks, he well now he's nine pounds. So they're supposed to drink an ounce for every pound. I don't really measure it. He gets as much water as he wants. I also will give him, if I run out of distilled water or if I'm like just topping his bowl off in the middle of the day, I will also give him just filtered water and like I have a, one of those pure pitchers in my fridge. I didn't want to bring it in here. Cause I had a feeling it would get knocked over. I do clean his face every day. Sometimes twice a day, but usually once. Now we're on a once a day. I found this comb in Petco. It is by a brand called Little Pals, and it's perfect for small dogs because it's really fine. It has a really fine side. I tried a flea comb. Someone told me to try that, but it just didn't work out. It was just too big and fine. He didn't like it in his face. Honey, 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 honey. He's chewing on the bowl. I'm sorry I'm taking all your things. Every morning I either take a washcloth or a cotton round, like a makeup cotton round, and I... Come here, I'm going to use you as an example. He's like, I didn't sign up for this. And this is going to be so awkward. He's like, why are you showing all my parts? So every morning I wet this first, and I just kind of dab... Honey, I know, we're not in grooming position, so he's so confused. And I just kind of dab his eyes because I don't want to pull any of his little boogies out dry because that would probably hurt. I'm going to really do it because he's... I just gently comb out 
any little eye boogers that he acquired overnight. Just kind of wipe them away. And I use two different products. Not, I don't do, <laughs> he looks so cute. I don't do, I don't use both like at one time. I kind of go back and forth. So I, I'm on a Maltese forum and I, it's called Spoil Maltese, SpoiledMaltese.com. I think just Google it, you'll find it. I've learned so much from that website and I am, so grateful to all the ladies on the website. One of the products that come highly recommended is this blueberry facial scrub by Tropiclean. And it smells like, oh my god, if you guys could smell it, it smells so good. Because it's na all natural, it has blueberries, it removes tear and beard stains, so you can wash their whole face with it and it exfoliates their skin. When I'm just trying to do a touch up, I don't get his whole head wet and do his whole face. I take a little bowl and I fill it with water. Actually, since I don't have a sink in here, I put one drop and I'm going to show you how much I use. I use about one drop and then I put the water in it because then it makes the bubbles. So it will just use the thing and mix it up. And then I take, I take the same cotton round or a piece of a washcloth that I was already using. I dip it in the solution. Or also a small kid's toothbrush will work for this too. Come here, my honey. Then I disturb him from playing. He's good right now. I'm not really gonna do it, I'm just gonna demo. And I just wipe out and just kinda wash away any of, <laughs> I know we're not in the position, my honey. Any of, you know, that's dirty and it needs to be cleaned. It's also tear free. And then I take, Either another one of these, this is why I usually use a washcloth because you just end up using like 10,000 of these things. And I just put regular, I just wet it with regular water and then I just kind of dab it and get the soap out. It doesn't get really soapy, but just to make sure that all the soap is out. I know, I know you don't want to be in the video. And then I use the fine side of this comb and then, you know, help me get everything out. And then once he's clean, I take another, I should have just got a washcloth. Use a dry cotton round or another side. That's why it's easier just to use a washcloth because you could just use different corners of it because they're so small. And then I just dry the face because that's another part of tear stains because the area is wet. So you want to make sure you dry it. And by dry it, you just pat it dry and you can kind of feel it like, I know, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry you hate me. Tell me that you love me. Tell me that you love me. I know, I know you hate me. When I feel like he is, he really needs it to be clean. Usually at night before we go to bed, when I do my brush out on him, I come out brush out. I don't really do that again. What I will do, I ain't like I'm not going to do anything to his face. I might just, if he has any little crusties, I just might comb them out before we go to bed. Sorry, my, my, my puppy voice is annoying. Another recommendation, Bosch and Lom eye wash. This is the same kind of eye wash that you would use in your own eye. It's safe to use in their eyes. And I need my model again. <gasps> Come here, my model. He's hiding underneath my vanity. And I don't put it in his eye. I put it like on the corner of each eye, like just one drop. And then I know I'm bothering you. And then I just massage and I massage it in. And then I just wipe, pat it dry. And I've seen a huge difference just using this. I really only use this on days when I've skipped or he just looks like he needs to be cleaned. That's what I do for daily maintenance. When his tear stains were really bad in the beginning, everyone was like, get angelized, get angelized, get angelized. I'm like, no, I don't want to give him antibiotics. Like, he's not sick. I envy. And there's two kinds. There's one that needs to be refrigerated. This one doesn't need to be refrigerated. This is what the bottle looks like, and it also comes with a powder. I got a kit that came with cotton rounds, a bottle of the product, and powder. So what you do, and what I found worked best for me was you can cut up the cotton pads into quarters to clean their face with. I actually found that using a kid's toothbrush with fur in it, with hair in it. So I bought a pack of little kid's toothbrushes and I use that and I'll show you how I do it but I'm not gonna really do it. This is only what I did when it was really when it was really bad in the beginning and you have to do that, my battery is gonna die. Get me. Okay, so it took 18 years to find my other spare battery. This is how I use the INV on Bantleys. Can you come demonstrate honey bow? 
What I would do, I would shake it up, dig the toothbrush inside, and I would just work the area around his face. Then you take this powder that comes in the kit, sprinkle it over the area against the grain of their hair, which is kind of hard to do, and I wasn't the best at it, so I would just put a little bit and let him go. When his tear staining was the worst, I followed the directions. I use this every day for 30 days. It says to use weekly or for maintenance. I rarely use this anymore. If you want to try it, I recommend getting the starter kit because this is 30 days of use. I don't know if y'all can see the line where the water line is. 30 days of use with some maintenance in between. Love this stuff. Things I bought <laughs> when I didn't really know what I needed or how to fix it. Stuff I don't like. I hate like not liking a product. I feel bad. Like I'm not trying to throw shade on Martha, but the Martha Stewart natural tear stain remover. Hate it. It did not work. Also, his staining was bad. I have a feeling if I used it now, and I do use it occasionally, like if the other stuff is out of reach, it works. But it's all natural. There's no parabens, bleach, or alcohol. Yes, there are people out there bleaching their puppies' faces. And that just makes me really crazy. Not a big fan of this. I think this is more for maintenance once you take care of the problem. <laughs> These Petkin eye wipes. Super cheap, don't know where they came from. I didn't find that they worked. I use them occasionally to just, as a wet wipe, that's safe for his face. I don't use them. I'll probably save them for travel, since they're already wet. Bring eye wipes from Petco. I didn't do jack shiz. Again, I think this would be a great maintenance product, and since I don't like to waste stuff, I will use it I'll use it, but like I said, it's for maintenance, it's not for every day. And it just comes with like a hundred, how many are in here? A lot. It comes with a lot of these pads. And like I said, it's good, like these type of things are good for like wiping eye boogers and getting the boogies out. Don't care for them. Another way to get rid of tear stains if it's really bad, you can tears and snip the hairs. Oh, you wanna cuddle? away from their eyes and you always want to use one made for dogs with that blunt safety top so you don't poke them in the eyes. Not gonna really do it but you can just snip them. I found that those hairs were starting to poke him in the eye a little bit so when I do brush him out and clean him I've kind of trained the hairs not to do that. And then I got really mad because I took him to Petco. So I know I took him to the groomer. I go to Petco because I actually really like the girls there but sometimes I don't listen. Okay, twice they didn't listen to me. Trim, they trimmed the hair around his eyes and I'm like, no, I didn't want you to do that because it's just going to poke him in the eye and it's going to get dirty and it's going to be the same cycle all over again. So I'm kind of letting that grow out. That is all. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I answered your questions. I was kind of all over the place and I'm not used to doing like puppy videos. I do daily vlogs. I occasionally do like makeup videos, I do file facts organizing videos, but I would never do the little puppy bear video, so I was all scattered and out of the way. Well, that's what we use for tail stains. Look at that face. He's angry, but look at his face. Oh, not in the mouth. Thank you so much for watching, and Bentley wants to give you guys all the closest kiss your friends. Kiss them. Mwah. And we will see you later. Bye. Me, I'm trying to make a video. Can't play with the bowl right now. I'm not in the frame. And something smells like fire. Let me have my model. He's hiding underneath my vanity. It's just slid across the table and it scared me, but I think because the table is wet. <laughs>